When I was about uh, in second grade, I decided to create a book of poetry for kids. So I took a manila folder and I cut it and put in some poems I had written and I stapled it together and did a picture of a flower on the front and called it Poems for Kids. And that was my first book of poetry, probably around age seven. The other books are We Are the Young Magicians, Renaissance, and Prayers Like Shoes. I wear prayers like shoes. Pull them on quiet each morning. Take me through the uncertain day. Don't know what might knock me off course. Sit up in bed, pull on the right, then the left. Before a shower, before tea, my mama's gift to walk me through this life. Writing is important in the African American tradition. We were not supposed to write and we would be severely punished or even killed if we were teaching people to read and write. One very important component of that tradition is not only naming what's going on and maybe what needs to be changed, but also what can you give people that makes them want to stand taller or get up the next day and do what they need to do. How are you going to give people something that strengthens and sustains them? In terms of the work that I produce, one of the best things is getting feedback from people who say, this is exactly how I feel, but I didn't have the words for it. You named it for me, thank you. To see that their spirit is so moved. For people who are struggling to follow their calling, I think I have two pieces of advice. Have the courage to address those things inside of you that you're afraid to address. So, for instance, as a writer, have the courage to write about those things that you're afraid to write about that you wouldn't even want to admit to yourself. Because if you can conquer that in yourself, you can probably conquer everything else that's going on around you. The second piece, I think, would be to surround yourself as much as you can with excellence. So go to a place that inspires you, whether it's a museum or a reading or a concert or a piece of music. I find when I am next to excellence, it almost inspires a frequency or a certain tone inside myself. So I find myself reaching for a higher place. I feel a lot clearer as well, more sure about how to move. And I feel like the world moves with me. Why so afraid to stand up? Someone will tell you, sit down. But here is the truth. Someone will always tell you, sit down. The ones we remember kept standing.